I'm enjoying here the last day of 2018 and looking forward to 2019 and uh, what happened last year. Well, of course it was the year of the incredible hype of crypto. I started the year organizing a two-day event with 1,500 people and we had huge amount of speakers, lots of enthusiasm, lots of craziness and from there on it went downhill and I had to talk constantly about the crisis and how this cryptocurrency if it was a fake, if it was for reality, it went all over lots of news media. I ended the year with uh, Mark van der Gijs. It was really interesting to talk about, hey, what do we think of this uh, year and what's going to happen in 2019? And I think he gives a very balanced approach. I also really enjoyed, I had a mining operation and I made it totally green. I used the energy to grow tomatoes. So um, that part of the, the solution we've had. And um, I also... Um, uh, went to a hackathon of Bitcoin Cash just before everything exploded. So it was a year of hype and then a total year of depression. So we're in the winter and we're looking forward to what happens in 2019. Another thing which was really interesting was uh, 2018 was uh, electric driving. Here in the Netherlands it's rather popular. It's now about uh, 8 to 10 percent of total new sales. And I did a lot of review, reviews. The Hyundai Ionic, great car, a little bit smaller battery. The Nissan Leaf 2.0 is really good, fantastic, has also good autopilot. The Hyundai Kona is a really great car, about 350 miles, 550 kilometers, and it costs uh, about 40,000 uh, euros. Uh, the Jaguar I Pace, expensive, uh, great car. Um, range was also very good. It only is charging very slowly here and you need a special charger for that. And um, I, uh, of course, went to, uh, did a drive in the Tesla Model 3, which I also ordered and which I will get next year. And the Dutch uh, made a light year one. It's a uh, car which um, works also on solar energy. And it's a beautiful, fantastic car. We'll see more about it in 2018. Biggest surprise of 2018 was the discovery of the LS EV, the low speed EVs. And in China, they have um, about 3 million cars sold of small electric cars which drive in the city. And they be are between 1,000 and 5,000 uh, euro. They also are coming to the Netherlands. I showed, uh, made a demonstration of that. And next year, they will sell 10 million. And to give you an idea, only 1 million electric cars are sold worldwide and 3 million LSEVs uh, this year and 10 million next year. And also, one, we had one Tesla in the Netherlands, which was um, uh, made into a hydrogen car. So now you can drive 850 kilometers or 900 kilometers with half on batteries and half on hydrogen. So that was really cool. And there was more electric and uh, autonomous driving news. Uh, first, I showed that on the Tesla, with the help of a little border bottle, you can drive endlessly on autopilot. You never have to touch the wheel. That was controversial. And um, we are basically, I, I went to take a look at uh, Tom Tom and I interviewed Tom Tom about the future of their uh, car. Talked a lot about Elon Musk, of course, who uh, went totally crazy but really had the most fantastic Q3 and was very, very successful and is dominating the electric industry like there is no tomorrow. And I went to court because I was, uh, I got a uh, ticket because I was uh, using my phone and I argued that that rule needs to change because autonomous driving cars make, uh, make the whole situation much more secure and safe and it shouldn't be uh, charged. So next year we'll go to court again. And 2018 was really the year of the blockchain. At the Blockchain Innovation Conference I showed about 45 different cases how it's now being used in energy and how it's used in finance, how it's used in uh, logistics and, uh, and lots and also for good. And the most interesting thing what everybody thought was for good, the World Bank came and, uh, and showed how they're, using, uh, how they're using it. We also use it for refugees. Uh, fantastic example how you can have identity on the blockchain. All these videos are online and uh, take a look at it because it's going to into production uh, hopefully we'll show some examples next year, but really everybody's now making not only test systems, but production systems. And I went to a ton of conferences. Of course, the Mobile World Conference in 2018 in uh, Barcelona, where everybody talks about 5G, which is really going to be produced very soon now. Lots of new uh, phones, lots of new devices, lots of Internet of Things. 
very interesting. I also went to other things like Interclean, where you basically see how the cleaning industry is using robots and uh, intelligent, uh, intelligent big data systems to do it much more smarter. I went to Intersolar in Munich, where you see that the solar energy is expanding very rapidly. I talked to all the big heroes over there. And um, I went to CIO Day, and I interviewed 25 CIOs uh, about what's happening in the IT industry. And, and I also interviewed Sophia there, and you know, the newest robot, which everybody's talking about, which is a little bit fake in the background, but she looks fantastic. So that is um, really interesting, and I looked at Bright Day, there were lots of robots, lots of interesting gadgets to look at, and uh, I spent two hours on the radio talking about it. And I must say, I thought the European Women Payment Network uh, event in, uh, in Amsterdam was great. Lo only women, 350 women, are basically working on innovation on every aspect. And one of the most interesting things in 2018 was working on instant payments. In 2019, the whole of Netherlands will go to instant payments within five seconds. You can, uh, you can pay each other. And um, the Payment Association was very active on that, uh, on that thing. And the interview I would recommend is with John Holdren. He was the science and uh, climate change uh, advisor of Obama. And he talks about how he got into the uh, Obama government, what he did. He was every day at the White House from 6 o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock. And he gives an insight on how Paris came about, how India and uh, China and America really basically had to get together to make this a success. Really fantastic insight and for me it was the most wonderful interview of the year. So 2018 was wonderful. It was also great what happens with the kids. I went skating with them and 500 of them went uh, minecrafting in the arena designing a new piece of Amsterdam and I loved Pink Floyd myself. So 2018 was a great and beautiful year. 2019 will be, uh, again, very interesting in terms of blockchain and crypto. And I'm going to buy my new model free and show you around what, what a car of 50,000 uh, euro can do. Because I think that EV will accelerate quite a bit in 2019. So it's going to be a great year. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you then.